Hey family, welcome back. So I am coming to you guys with another collaboration video with the host name is Life of Dre. I am actually tagging Nigel J in this video and I will actually ask uh, Adria Tuka as well to participate. Anyway, of course, I will leave all of their information in the uh, description box below and of course there will be a playlist. So definitely watch the playlist and of course that is down in the description box below as well. So today's collaboration has to do with um, how to feel more confident during public speaking or say it with your chest. <laughs> that one is the one I like better. Say it with your chest tag. <laughs> um, so I have five questions that I'm going to go ahead and answer. So let's jump in. So the first one is how long have you spoken publicly? And I would have to say, um, of course, I would have to say on a consistent basis for uh, about three years. Um, I've been on YouTube for uh, just about all of those years. And then on top of that, I've done some public speaking outside of um, YouTube. So for about a total of three years. The second question is, how did you get over your fears of public speaking? And honestly, it was just something that I just had to do. I am always a little nervous when I have to go in front of a live audience, like every single time, every single solitary time. It doesn't matter how many times I have to do it. But once I get out there, so I have to say it's the buildup for me. It's me in my mind thinking, you know, can I do it right? Am I going to do it right? Am I going to mess up hell? Am I going to fall? Like what is actually going to happen when I get out there? Are they going to receive me well? So it's a lot of that that's building up in there. And I know that that's a lot that happens with everybody else. But literally to get over your fear of public speaking, you just have to do it. You have to feel the fear and do it anyway in order to get over your fear of speaking publicly or really any of your fears. You just got to do it. That's how I got over it. You just got to do it. And I'm still, I'm probably never going to be 100% over it per se, but the more and more I do it, the easier that it gets. But as the audience is growing, so each and every time the audience gets bigger and bigger, I'm even more fearful just like I was when I did my first speaking engagement was of in front of one person. It was supposed to be two people and I was already nervous enough and um, one didn't show up. So my very first speaking engagement was in front of one person. I was still just as nervous because again, I'm putting myself out there. I'm like, oh my goodness, is this person going to receive me well? Am I going to be well spoken enough? Are they going to understand exactly where I'm coming from, where I'm trying to get to? Are they going to be able to take the knowledge that I'm supplying to them and apply it to their life? So there's a whole lot of stuff going on up here. So I don't think I'm ever going to get over actually being able to um, just go out on the stage and not ever think about being nervous. I'm sure that I'm going to be nervous, but once I actually get out there, so for like I said, for me, it's just the build up. But once I'm literally out there speaking, for some reason, my nerves go all the way and I'm just enjoying the crowd. I'm enjoying the energy. I'm speaking back and forth to the crowd. And, and even when I'm speaking to you guys, a lot of you have commented that you feel like I'm speaking directly to you. And that's the way that I want it to feel for you because I want to feel like I'm connecting with you and obviously you want to feel like you're connecting with me. So if we're both connecting with each other, we're obviously building some type of a relationship together. So you just got to do it just to wrap it back up. You got to do it. So the third question I actually already answered and the third question is, have I ever been nervous in front of the audience? Absolutely. Every single time that I get out there, I'm nervous in front of the audience. With the exception of the camera, I am so used to being in front of the camera and um, just speaking directly to you guys. Um, I actually did a radio show not too long ago. I will be releasing that video so you can see how I was on the radio show as the relationship coach on that radio show. But in front of the camera, I'm actually not nervous any longer. But in front of live audiences, I am still nervous. Absolutely. Question number four is, why is confidence so important in front of a crowd or in front of the camera? And to answer that question, really confidence is so important throughout your lives, but specifically in front of the camera and or crowd, it's very important because 
if you're not confident in what you're saying, then why would the audience take in what you're saying, um, take it to heart or feel like this person actually knows what they're talking about or I feel like I can actually learn something from this person. So if I'm coming out there, my head down, my chest down, like, hey, y'all, welcome. Thank you for coming out today. They're pretty much going to be laughing or playing with their phones or, you know, having loud side conversations where now I'm getting even more nervous and like, oh, my God, they're not listening to me. How do I bring them back in? So if I'm not confident, if I don't come out there like a powerhouse, you know, like I know what's going on, then why would anybody take me serious or listen to what I have to say or feel like they can actually learn something from me? Confidence is a big thing in front of a crowd and in front of the camera because once I press that release button, some people take it in, others don't. The fifth and final question is what tips do I have for you guys in order to feel for you guys to feel comfortable in front of the camera or in front of the audience when you're when you're speaking. And I would just have to say literally you got to prepare, 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 prepare. As in write your speech and and um as in write your speech ahead of time. Don't wait until the last minute for you to start practicing your speech. Practice it in front of a mirror. Practice it in front of your spouse or in front of your child. Somebody that can actually give you some feedback. Um, put, um, Record yourself on, because we all have these smartphones. At least most of us have these smartphones. So start recording yourself on your smartphone and listen back to it. Anytime that you have um, like a speaking engagement or uh, something like that, you can record yourself or have somebody else to record you at least for a few moments it doesn't have to be the entire time but at least for a few moments so you can see and get feedback from yourself and so the next time you're in front of an audience you can actually do these things differently but the more that you practice it and the more that you practice it enough where you basically can read your speech read your speech read your speech by the time you have practiced it so many times that you don't even need your notes I would absolutely um, encourage that as well it obviously depends on how long your speech is and how long and how comfortable you are with leaving your notes but after I have practiced so let's say for instance I have a speaking engagement coming up in one month I will try my very best for um, that entire month leading up to it to go ahead and practice my entire speech. And by the end of that time frame, I am so well prepared. I have said my speech so many times that I do not even need the notes. Now, it's not going to come out the same way every single time. But if in your mind you have the gist of what the breakdown is as far as like this point, that point, this point, that point. If you have those things in your mind because you've said your speech so many times, you don't need your notes, you're more comfortable, it's going to come out so much easier, you're going to be more relaxed. Even though you have all of these buildups of your nerves and everything, once you get out there and start saying these things, everything is going to flow. And before you know it, your speech is over, you're feeling good about yourself, you're feeling confident, everybody else is coming to you like, oh my goodness, you did a great job, thank you for coming, blah, 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 whatever, whatever is going on um, behind the scenes and in front of you now. So, so nobody knows what you did in order to prepare to get in front of the audience in order to feel confident and to be able to, to deliver your message and or speech in such a confident manner. But you really do have to practice, 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 practice your speech. Even if you don't have anybody at the house with you where basically you live alone, record yourself speaking in front of the mirror, stand up straight and tall, or if you are going to be sitting, basically be in a setting the way that you're going to be in front of your audience. So if you're going to be standing, stand up and deliver your speech every single time you say it. If you're going to be sitting, sit down and deliver your speech every single time that you say it. That way, when you get in that setting in front of your audience, you are already prepared on how you need to sit, how you need to sit up, how you need to kind of stand. If you can be free and walk around and deliver things, um, de deliver your message. And, and, and your audience is basically taking you all in. But practice everything prior to you getting up there and not, the, not only the night before. You need more time especially depending on how long you are going to be in front of the audience or in front of your camera. Practice, practice, practice. And the more that you practice, the easier it's going to get, the more comfortable you are going to get, and the better you will be at being um, just natural.
natural at delivering your speech. Um, <laughs> really, I hate to throw myself under the bus, but if you go back and look at some of my earlier videos, like my, my first video is called The Basics. That video, I am so stiff because I'm so nervous. I'm not even looking at the camera like I'm like I'm looking at you guys. I'm not even looking at the camera. I think I'm looking down. Um, I, I know that I was reading something at the time, but again, I didn't practice as much. So my delivery is so much more mechanical than it is now. There is completely a big difference from when, when I was on first on the camera over two years ago versus now. Absolutely. I know that it is. Even though the message might be the same, the, the delivery is absolutely different. So practice. I hope that this has helped you guys to take this information in so you too can become more comfortable with speaking in front of a live audience and or on your camera. Don't forget to check out the playlist below. Of course, thank you to the host, um, Life of Dre. I will put his channel name down below. The, the playlist will be down below. And of course, I am tagging Audrey Atuka and Nyjah J. So check out theirs um, as well. I will see you guys in a future video. Mwah.